Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review and today we have in front of us from Gaming Grades from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Bastila Shan or Bastila Shan, whatever here you can see the render of the figure that we have already out of the packaging windowless packaging, so I was like, let's already take her out there you can see a very nice artwork of Bastila Shan that's always what keeps me from throwing the boxes away, but I, I have to start doing it. So I'll have to start cutting the artwork or something. I need to free up some space. Here you have uh, her bio, so you can pause it now and read it. The same render, another render at the side, free plastic free packaging, legal stuff, more stuff, whatever. Uh, we already have the figure out of the packaging with everything she comes with, which is just her lightsaber i mean it's very practical of course i would prefer if she came with a couple of extra hands some something else pro from the game i didn't play the first knights knights of the old republic so i cannot uh, have any reference and i just did play a little bit of the second one so i can't say much about the character other than i really like her costume design uh, and I really like how they made this figure. Maybe I don't like the, you know, the, the kind of thin legs here, the upper part of the legs. These are not my favorite legs. These are the ones, the same ones from the Ayla Secura. In that case, I think the actress that hi had that kind of build, so it's okay. We have these legs also for Holdo and for, what was the name? Aura Singh and I don't know if someone else. In any case, you, you can see, I mean, apart from that detail that I personally would prefer would be a bit different, the figure is a beautiful looking figure, you know, uh, and I'm very happy to finally have her in hand. Uh, let's take a closer look at this lightsaber hilt. There you can see it all focused. Silver paint and black paint for the midsection. I didn't put it into hot water or anything. It might be a bit warped. But uh, it's not that terrible. And it's the first time, at least for me or for us all, I don't know, I have an official Black Series yellow lightsaber blade or couple of blades. In any case, now I realize this thing is really warped in places, but I'll leave it for now. Just for the review, it will stay like that. That's the lightsaber. Again, take a look at details. I don't have to describe it. Just look it yourself. And... Let's take a closer look at this face because it's one of the highlights or maybe for me the main highlight of a human figure or human looking humanoid, you know, is that the face is well sculpted and nicely printed or painted or both. And in this case, I think they nailed it. I personally really like it. I like her hairstyle. I mean, she has a unique hairstyle and... It's well sculpted in my opinion. Again, I didn't play the game, but it looks good. I don't know if it's 100% accurate. I guess it would be so, but uh, I just happen to like it a lot. Uh, there you can see her overlay here, kind of armor. It's all together, this piece, you know, the front part of the chest, the shoulder pads and these kind of tails at the back. What a nice uh, character design. You can see she has another piece at the waist, which hides the waist, waist articulation, which I'm already moving here. This kind of skirt thing, you know. Anyway, she has a nice uh, costume and she has, it's all cast like in this burgundy color with some brown accents. And the legs are just the, these plain legs. I think they're the same boots as Ayla Secura and maybe Holdo and I don't know, or a scene. I don't know, but this is the, the legs are not new. They are also pinned as you can already see, but the rest is all new sculpt. If I'm right, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. I mean, just take a look at those gloves or gauntlets. Yeah, she has both vertically swiveled hands, which is great. Would be nice if he came with a, like some force push or force uh, powered hands you know some gesture hands whatever but hey as plain as it is the figure at least at least is really look uh, good looking now let's go to the <coughs> you know the articulation department just take a look at that face again you can see she can tilt to the sides mostly 
at the lower part of the neck that's very mobile the upper part of the neck doesn't have much range you know i guess is the typical hasbro oh we have a double ball peg which is trapped there with no clearance to move <laughs> but hey at least the lower neck the lower part of the neck going to the chest that has some movement to it and then you have a lot of tilt she can look up just a little bit she can look down that's decent enough mostly because of the lower part again uh, the arms as you can see the shoulder pads are floating there and are together with the chest uh, overlay again chest arm or whatever but let let me just risk it a bit uh, she can lift the arms up to if i'm right only up to a t pose i'm not managing to raise them more i'll leave it there i don't want to force my figure also but uh, and she has like a nicely hidden butterfly joint it doesn't have much range it can go backwards this is like actually i think it got cold again i put it into hot water anyway it can go backwards that far forwards just a little bit this, you, you know it's super tight in there so it's a shame that they give a butterfly joint which cannot which can almost not move it's just more like for nuance but a minimal like millimetrical movement at least in my copy hope yours moves easily uh, more easily uh, single jointed elbows pinless but they can bend well over 90 i mean slightly over 90 but it's okay the black series you know uh, they're not gi joe sadly in the movement department um you have no app crunch or something you have a waist ball peg which can go backwards that far this is the like mid position and it can bend forward like a minimally sadly again bending forward is the most limited one and we will we all would like it to be better i guess well i do uh, a little bit of tilt to the sides and it can turn all the way around with ease what you see there may you might see a bit of water because i just took her out of the hot water bath um anyway the legs can do that much splits it's okay i mean this is a jedi is not a ninja i mean she should be able to do full splits maybe but it's it will be okay for this kind of figure she can kick only that far it's less than 90 sadly and i think that's mostly because actually she can kick 90 if you force that a little bit just be careful that you don't i have a lot of water in there that you don't uh, stress the kind of skirt thing here uh, thigh cut double jointed pin the knees that can go bend kind of all the way all the way you need for this figure at least uh, at boot cut always good to have and it's exactly where it should be at the boot um, and the feet can go backwards that far breaking the skull to score of course forward that far i mean that's yeah you have all the range there and it has a, a mediocre but a useful ankle rocker a rocker i mean and now for size comparisons there you have bastille shan next to a couple of stormtrooper like characters mike and sergeant creel you have psylocke and spider-man from marvel legends there you have her next to a master verstila a crimson bat wicked a Siri from McFarlane and what was this guy's name the star jammer guy here uh, Summer's father whatever and next to a dark trooper Tigra Ayla Secura and Sorana and that's it for this review I think this figure is beautiful it doesn't have the best articulation that's a minus but she does look great and I don't know when will we ever get a figure of this character i don't know i mean i think she does feel the spot uh, in a really really nice way i mean the figure again looks great articulation could be better especially the bend forward you know uh, otherwise i mean it's not bad the articulation but you know these figures which can't bend forward at all uh, are starting to get uh, my nerves you know it, it's like why do they not give any clearance to that forward movement that forward crunch or diaphragm whatever they have hasbro please just pay attention to that because if you're already doing the figure just do it a bit better you know <laughs> that's that i mean you, you're already paying for it you're selling it to us and it's like 
almost there you know it looks great the movement could be better definitely but uh, i'm happy to have her i must say i mean she's a great looking figure a uh, obscure character of course uh, only if you played the game you know her i mean i know her without having played the game but uh you know what i mean i mean you know her story if you played the game or if you read the uh, uh, Wikipedia or whatever. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe and all of that good stuff. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.